Ooh. Oh, yes. This game is amazing. I love it. It's another rare title. But, oh, what a classic it is. Back from Rare. Oh, they were called Rareware, but they call themselves Rare. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. This is your host, MJ406. And like I said, a Razor Game's coming up now. Well, it's a personal favorite of mine and a lot of people, especially from this era. Pretty much the, uh, where everyone is like, oh, Mario Kart, or some people are like, well, Mario Kart 64 is the best racing game of that franchise. People that really had 64 got to know this gem. The characters like Timber, the Tiger, Bumper, the, uh, Dog? Whatever the hell he is. Look at the dinosaur. Oh, Conquer! Hey, you don't have a beer in your hand. What are you doing? You're not living up your name. Ah, tip top. You show up at some other point. Ah! Why are you suck at driving? Hey, you're not a character. You have to stick it out of here. But Bumper and Pipsy. A nice variety cast of animals. Hey, there he is, Banjo. That's another that came with a concept during Project Dream and got to use him in this game. Take that crutch, you Kremlin bastard. The reason like that people thought that Rare owned the Kremlins. They don't. And that guy's Whizpig. He looks like an asshole. Look at his nose ring. Dumbass. And the main star, Diddy Kong, getting his own game. So welcome, everybody, to Let's Play. Thank you. Ah, this racing game is, well, I know a lot of people love this game, myself included. Probably one of the most fleshed out like racing games from, I was gonna say, ever, but well, more like back in the day, because you know, there are realistic racing games like Gran Turismo and Forza, and they've been beasts recently, but when it comes to like, non-realism, this game kicks ass. So let's have some fun, shall we? So you have your cast of eight characters here. I'll let you let them all introduce themselves. Here you have Crunch. My name's Crunch. Kremlin. Uh, I don't want you. I'm Diddy. The mascot, or the, I mean, sidekick, sorry, to DK, Donkey Kong. Whoa. You don't deserve any special treatment. This weird guy. Oh. That's not Rare's Pope able to come up with a bunch of original characters. Half of which they reused at some point, And two they just took from Donkey Kong in general. I mean, this is a Nintendo game, so it makes sense. You need to get a beer in your hand, so until you learn to start drunk driving functionally, you're staying off. Look, he's so child friendly. <laughs> hey, it's Tip Top. And a turtle shouldn't be driving. Uh, Sorry. Oh my god, why is everybody so offended? And they have to have the little cute girl bear thing. Timber. Timber. He's a beast in this game, too. I mean, he's a tiger. What do you want? And well, while my normal choices would either be Diddy, Bumper, or Tigger, because I mean, Timber. Timber, sorry, I forgot your name already. I mixed you up with another character from <laughs> Disney. Oh, what I'm gonna go with this time is, I gotta represent. I'm Banjo. Banjo from Banjo Kazooie, who didn't get his own game till a year after this one, but I'm Banjo. He's well worth it. It's nice to know that a lot of the projects they had in mind were, uh, you know, they're good at coming up with things. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, 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 you need you need a controller pack that has memory to save ghost data. I don't care about that. So anyway, there's an adventure mode, which is what we're gonna do. There are some tracks available, but not a lot. And well, I may as well get into the swing of things as we go through the adventure mode. Which, by the way, I don't have any files because, uh, well, I lost my copy of this game. Had to get a new one. So, yeah. Damn it. Why has to be so difficult for me? Wait, why did I put that initial? Can I put in numbers? No. Uh. 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 You know what? That works. Whatever. Damn it, I was so used to putting in two J's for some reason. Probably because it's all my initials. I want to be the MJJ, that'd be even weirder. But, oh god. Things look terrible in the world of Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, never mind. There goes the brightness filter. Now it looks pleasant. Ah. Really makes you want to go racing, doesn't it? Ah, weird frog. Why do you have no legs? And he's like, BAM! I don't want this camera to be near me! I'm camera shy! 
Oh, hey! And there's your guide for the game. That would be a uh, Taj. Am I correct? God, slow down, man! Yeah, there you go. Hey! I am the genie of the island. Really? You ain't no Robin Williams. Good luck. But I guess you'll have to do whoever you are. We'll just go with it. So welcome to the world of Diddy Kong Racing. I can honk my little horn. It's a beautiful place to be, is it not? Let's go explore the island a bit. So, one of the interesting things about this game, like, yeah, it has better mechanics than Mario Kart 64, but I find them both to be great for their own separate reasons. However, there's one thing that there's so, multiple things to put this game over the top. Hello, friend. I'll show you some of them, like change your vehicle. You have the option of being in a car, a hovercraft, or a plane. Can I help you further? Nope. Not my way. Ah, why do you have to warp? Just so you can be over there. That's so unnecessary. Anyway, yeah. So you can fly in this game. Because why not? Oh, God. Man, it's really hard to control. Oh, Jesus. I have a feeling this is a terrible option. In adventure mode, you collect these balloons. They're on the belt. Oh, but don't worry. You, only, you don't only find them out in the open. But you will need them. And, uh, well, I'll say this right now, there's four out in the open. That's the number, right? Four? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get them all now, so they're out of the way. Because I want to get to the meat of the game. Ow. Yo, Banjo is really hard to control. What do I do now? Change to a character I'm comfortable with, or man up and try to use a character I'm not used to? I'll go with the man up route. Oh, damn you, invisible walls. Oh, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> See, look. The main hub island's pretty nice. There are all these crazy big doors. You'll need to know about these later on. Not right now, but later. But, uh, plane's the best vehicle to be in, because you can pretty much just do anything. Give me that one. So, these balloons will be useful for going through these doors. I got all the four out in the open already, so let's just go in. <laughs> so there you go. That's all more after that. So this is what a world is like in this game. You have doors that all have different numbers for the uh, doors, based on balloons. Oh, and you have this guy here. This guy will be needed later, kind of. Hi there, I'm TT. Hi, I'm TT. You can ask me about your game status or select my time trial mode to practice a level. I can also save your best ghosts. Game status. Okay. Now, time trial will be useful for when, uh, you know, you've already beaten the levels. Okay. I mean, you could do it either way, but... Well, if you do time trial, you can't progress in the game, so... Don't turn it on until later. There's a trophy race here. Turn to the trophy race, you must complete all of the tasks for this world. Keep racing! Okay, fine, I'll race. I may as well get some practice with Banjo in, so I know what I'm up for. Thankfully, the beginning races are easy. There's also a, uh... I may as well show you everything that you'll find here. There's drifting crap. The boss level. There's a story. Must have all the balloons from this world. Keep racing. Damn it. And something else to keep in mind, which we'll be finding. There's a locked door. Fire Mountain TT Challenge. To enter the story, must find the key. The key is hidden on one of the Dino Domain racetracks. Keep searching. There's also a hidden. There are hidden collectibles on the racetracks themselves. This game's wild, man. That's why I love it. So let's just go to the first level, just get in the groove. It's time to go to Ancient Lake, which the game will tell you what level it is as well. So let's have some fun. So here we go. Racing around. Ooh, a key. I found it already. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm blowing it. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh, go! So yeah, just like a normal racing game, you just go around and try to be the fastest one on track. And then you run along boost panels, you get boost, you get items that can be used as weapons. The red ones use missiles, and as you saw, the blue one does uh, boosters. 
So yeah, be sure to collect them so you can uh, get advantages over your rivals. Shoot them down with missiles or get boost pads. Oh yeah, and something else I should mention. They stack. They stack to get them. There are different colors. That green that you're seeing, well, that's a special tactic that is very, very useful to know. So there's small, which is that orange. Medium is blue. Large is purple. However, if you let go of the accelerator when you use a boost, you actually get a greater boost. That also includes boost panels. Use that tactic, it'll be easy to get first place like that. See, I screwed up at the beginning of the race, I easily won. Ah, oh, here he comes, Taj. Hey, buddy. Oh, nice to see your face. You get first place, you get a balloon. That's how you get the rest of them. So yay me. And now that I have the key, I can use it. Which it's used on its own anyway. Yay! So now I can go to that magical door, which I'm gonna wait to do. So yeah, you don't have to bit get first of the race when you get the key in order to actually be able to use it. You just have to finish the race after getting the key. But you, yeah. Okay, let's just do more levels. To Fossil Canyon, we go! Ah. Uh. This game is so fun. I was so happy that DS rem remake of this too. However, they removed a few. Um, they added some things. They removed a few others as well, which is, uh, you know, I'm a little sad about it, but that's okay. Okay, there's green balloons which uh, let you drop oil. And like I said, they stack, so you know. The missile upgrades to a homing missile, so if somebody's ahead of you, fire that. You can pretty much lock on them. Oh. And if you grab a balloon of a color, it'll overwrite. So, uh, yeah. The green go from oil to a spike, and I accidentally grabbed a blue again. There are bananas out in the track. I should have mentioned those do those. Those basically increase your speed a little bit. So, you can grab up to 10. But they're definitely good to have. So I would definitely recommend getting them if you have the ability. Okay, I'm starting to get a groove. And your final upgrade for missiles is 10. You use 10 missiles. That's crazy. But yeah, there are three levels for each weapon. So you know, figure out what you like. I personally like the spike ball more on the final upgrade for this, but well, that's just my personal preference. The final one for this though is bubble. That can be used to trap people. Woo! This game's exciting. We haven't even gotten to the meat of it yet. I'm already having fun because I'm remembering everything. Uh, like I said, because of the first race, it's going to be very straightforward and maybe a little boring. Eh. It's nice to have it so it's easy to get a ha handle of. Don't worry, this is difficulty curve coming. But that's later. Yeah. I mean, nice and simple to start. You can skip those cutscenes, by the way. So we don't have to see him give you a balloon every goddamn time. Alright, I don't have to do these in order. I can just do them however I want, as long as I have the balloons to get in. Like, I don't even have to be in this world right now, but... You know, I want to do everything in order, make it proper. Alright, we're already at one of my favorite levels, Jungle Falls. It's short but crazy. But also, we get the best boost at the beginning of the race, like... As the get ready disappears, you want to hit A like right before it's completely gone. That's when you'll get the uh, good boost. Oh yeah, don't be in water in the car, because you'll slow down. Hey, I wanted that tie dye balloon, you bitch. Give me that. Look at this radioactive thing. It gives you a barrier that can protect you from certain traps. I don't think it protects you from missiles, but it protects you from the uh, obstacles like the uh, oil and the spike. I don't know about the bubble, but it's a good protective thing to have. So yeah, if you want to be on the defensive, definitely have these. Because like the others, they have three levels. They might protect you from more or, you know, just last longer. Either way, they're a good thing to have. 
Ah! Yeah, I'm not used to racing with Banjo yet. He feels like he's just worse overall. Unless he just has speed, which, you know, it's, I guess isn't a bad thing. All the characters have, like, differences in them. Like, some of them are balanced, like Diddy. Some are based on speed, like maybe Banjo or Crunch, and they have bad turning. Some have really good turning and acceleration, like Tip Top and uh, Pipsy. And I just ran over my own oil slick, I just realized that. Damn it! Oh, well, screw you. I'm better than all of you, so you can go suck it. I'm the best whoever was. You remember that, Taj? I told them. I'm better than all of them. Keep that knowledge. Whatever. Let's keep going. Alright, I guess your guys are probably tired of seeing car levels. Let's go to a different one. How about one where you're a plane? See, you'll be doing races in all these vehicles. And, uh, by the way... Ah, damn, I didn't do it perfectly. Not all races only have one vehicle you can use. For example, this one can also use the hovercraft. If you need it to. So... If you choose to do these races free on your own or face other people, which, uh... Ow! Oh, that's, like, the best thing about this game is that, of course, multiplayer! Not like games today where lo local multiplayer isn't a thing anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help but do that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, being able to do all these races with friends is like Mario Kart? Ugh. Oh. It adds to the charm of why this game is so freaking fun. Also, if you choose to get balloons of the same color after you already uh, fully upgraded, well, nothing else happens. Just make sure you use your weapon before you overwrite it with something else. That's just a fair warning for you. Because, well, that could kill you later. I'll just say this right now, you will want to know how to use these power-ups effectively, as we'll soon find out. Well, like I said, there's a difficulty curve coming. This game has some challenges that you'll need to overcome real hard. Don't worry. I'm prepared for my adventure to take over and take down uh, Gratilda, the evil witch. Excuse me, Crunch, while I laugh at you. <laughs> well, I guess that might not have been fully played by this point. Or could have, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Once you beat all the tracks, you unlock the boss room. Yeah, how beautiful. Ooh. I don't want to go. <laughs> Screw that, I don't want to do the boss level. They give you a little fanfare, you may as well take it. So, welcome to the boss fight. You are basically races against monsters. Like this. Ah, damn it. I'm raising a freaking Triceratops. Ah, oh, man. Shouldn't you be caring for your kid or what's his face from Land Before Time? <laughs> hey! You jumped the gun, you asshole! So, these boss fights are racing against these crazy monsters. Careful! Their size can be a big hindrance. You never don't want to get crushed by them. Being behind them makes these races trouble. These races are more or less, well, this one at least, is a linear track where you have to beat this Triceratops. Oh, be careful. You are going up a mountain, so falling is entirely possible. The boss races are actually all pretty challenging. I mean, some are easier than others, but, well, this is actually one of the harder ones, if you ask me anyway. It's not the easiest one. But, well, if you come unprepared, you're going to be in world trouble. Oh, uh, don't do more boost than you can chew. If you do that, you'll probably fall. So, yeah, you have to dodge obstacles, race a difficult creature that knows the land well, so they uh, have a home field advantage, so to speak. Oh, wow, Banjo's turning is actually really good. It makes this easy. Damn! And you beat them, you win! Wow, I actually don't beat them by that much. Banjo, I love you now. <laughs> yeah! What do you say about that, you bitch? What? Ah! 
What? And then come back to see me. So there's the catch. You went, beat the boss once, you have another challenge. I've got something special for you. You do? Try pressing break when skidding. Yeah, I see that. You go for a big sharp turn. Yeah! Hey, TT, look at me go! Ha! Ah, I'm doing donuts, baby! Ow, you dick! So, yeah. All the race doors reopen. Now you have to go through each race and find coins and win. No entry! You need to have blue center. Good luck. Damn it! So, yeah, that's the other catch. Once you beat the boss, you have to go through each race, find coins hidden throughout the level, and win in order to face the boss again for a harder challenge. So, yeah. Be prepared to do that a lot. Anyway, let's go in here and take a break before the end of the episode. Welcome to Fire Mountain. Once you find the key, you unlock these mini-game challenges, so to speak. <coughs> Sorry, it's more like battles. So Fire Mountain, the first player to hatch three eggs will win. So yeah. Our weird dinosaur place. Oh, facing Diddy. Bastard. Oops, I missed. Oh no! I missed all of all the eggs. So yeah, these spinning game challenges are kinda interesting. You have to hatch eggs and you have to keep them protected at your thing while they hatch. You just have to go over your nest or get a press. Okay, it's press Z to place him down. While another character's egg is trying to hatch, you can steal it. There are only three eggs out at a time. Once your egg is solid and not flashing anymore, that means it hatched, so it's safe. So yeah, you can't let your egg be taken by anybody. Stay away from my egg, you bastards! So yeah, main thing you want to do is just don't worry about your eggs being protected because they're going to get stolen. Just make sure your eggs are, you know, safe. Damn it, I just missed that. Ah, another one. Mine! And yeah, I guess for the third egg you can stay all alert. Although stealing other people's eggs still isn't bad. Because you know that person can be stealing your egg. So steal their egg back. No! You bastard! That was my egg! You! Oh god, conquer! Oh shoot! Let me get that egg. Yeah, it can be for make for a pretty hectic change of pace in a racing game. That's what makes this is one of the things. Oh god, where did I drop that egg? Ah! This is another one of those things that made Rare like one of the best game developing companies in the in the early mid 90s, or just all the 90s, I guess. They came up with weird ideas, and you know, a lot of the time it was, it worked. And interesting ideas, and they went with them. Stay away from my eggs, you bitch! You bitch! No, you took my egg! Ah! Oh no, that's Conker's egg. I better stop him. Damn it. Give me that egg. So yeah, this can be kind of these can be kind of hard to win too if you're not on if you don't stay on your toes. Oh, yeah, also there are weapons around. Why haven't I been using these? So be sure to collect weapons. Those can help you in edge. Okay, go ahead, take that. Yeah, my egg hatch. Woo! I didn't need to kill them. They did all the work for me. And here comes Taj to give you a reward. As you may expect, you don't get a balloon for this. It's a threshold challenge. You get something a little different. You won first prize. Whatever first prize is. Thanks for hiding this from me. Ass. You get this. Cool, you have a piece of the TT amulet. You have three more to collect. Good luck. So winning the minigame, I guess I should just say challenge. It gives you a t piece of a TT amulet. Let's just say those will be useful later. So yeah, pretty rad, right? Oh, I love this game. Oh, by the way, something else I should mention. 
Like I said, Diddy Kong Racing DS has the same races here. These four races and the boss race. However, there's one change. DS, when you unlock this, instead of doing these mini games, which are completely gone from that version, goddammit, instead, all you have is the, uh, you have a thing with, uh, okay, I can't do that yet. You have a race on the game's level editor, which this, which this version does not have. The DS version has a level creator. You do levels against TT on those that he created himself. I challenge you to a race. Oh yeah, that thing that Taj had for you? Car challenge. To test your driving skills, you must race me around the island. So we'll do that. Oh, don't chain me to a car. These are easy. Follow these flags. You don't have to collect them, but follow them. Oh, Nintendo. Your best, your best thing of third party support you had here. Well, I guess technically our second party back then. Rare. But yeah, race Taj. For this, you'll get a reward. So yeah, every time he tells you he's got something for you, which he'll usually tell you after a boss race, well, go to him. It's worth doing these, I'll say that right now. And well, this is the easiest one, so don't worry, they're not all that easy. He gets better as well. Well done, take this as a reward. I'll see you later. What? He gives you a balloon. So yeah. Keep track of that balloon. Take that, you frog. <laughs> I can crush frogs. Oh yeah, don't hit the bumper to ties to call him over. If you stand still, honk your horn, it'll come over to you as well. Hello, friends. Now give me give me the hovercraft, just so I go around this for a while. And you can also redo the challenges once you beat them. So you know, prep up your skills or whatever. Anyways, you can probably guess the hovercraft is strong for being on water. So definitely get used to every vehicle. Okay, well, that'll do it for this episode. Welcome everybody once again to Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. Come back next time and, well, we'll continue these races and battle the boss again once we get the opportunity. Hey, I wanted to come my hovercraft. You, give me my hovercraft. Hey, I said give me my hovercraft, you asshole. I want it hand delivered to me. Oh God, walkie clock. Ah!